jigger, man. We getting bigger, man. Shit, what you figure, man? Diamonds on diamonds, don't get just black. What up, what up? We live right now, man. Moves in motion with Brian Luther King. Man, we got somebody in the building that's been on the move, on the come up, man. Who we got in the building? Yo, yo, what's going on, man? It's your boy D Money the Soldier, man. All the way from the east side. I'm locked in right now with making moves. We with Bri, Black Diamond. You know what's going on, man. Hey, we lit, man. We just gonna hop straight into it. You just mentioned you from the east side. Is there? How was it growing up on the east side? Um, growing up in um Stone Mountain, you know, it was um uh pretty chill, pretty smooth, you know. Uh for the most part, you know, we have our little, you know, every like I said, every neighborhood had a you know, had a problems going on, you know. Uh but for the most part it was pretty chill growing up. Um, I went to school to read high. Uh but um I finished high school and military school, you know, Miller's okay. Military Academy. So yeah, but for the most part, yeah. Okay. You have a twin, right? Yeah. Did y'all have to share birthdays growing up? <laughs> Birthday parties? Um, yeah. For the most part, like we kinda still do. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. It's it's actually um it's not what a lot of like what some people would make it seem like. I actually enjoy have um, celebrating my birthday with my twin sister. Like, okay. You know, so yeah, it's yeah. pretty lit. Y'all have a twin bond? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. That's a real thing. Mm hmm Okay. No, I think that's dope, man. Where did you get the name D Money the Soldier? Um, D Money the Soldier really just kind of just came to me. Um for the most part, like, you know, anybody who know me, I like money. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> you know, so for the most part, like, you know, any chance I see, you know, just to make a little extra bread. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. But um, D just really came from, like, you know, growing up, like a lot of people, like, you know, for the most part growing up, a lot of people called me um, Big D. So that was kind of like a nickname for me growing up. Yeah. And then as I got, like, as I got grown, it just kind of just turned into, like, you know, D. So then I was like, mm, okay. So I just kind of, at first it was just really just D money. And then I was, originally it was going to be D money the savage. Yeah. But then I got to thinking and, you know, I talked to my mom about it and she was like, uh, I don't know. Savage just seems a little more, like a little yeah. too aggressive. I feel that. So then I thought about it and then I took the savage and turned it into soldier. And that really just means to me, like, you know, no matter whatever I go through in life, you know, I'm going to be a soldier about it. Straight you know, up. I'm always staying my 10. No, so, yeah. so, like, you have, like, one of the most upfront, straight up names. You know, when, when somebody hear D Money the Soldier, they know what it is. Like you said, about money and I'm a soldier. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. straight to the point. Yeah, for sure. That's, for sure. That's, that's dope. Like, how long have you been doing music? Um, really my, really my whole life, pretty, pretty much. Um, I started, as, as a lot of people know, I started doing music in my in a church choir. I grew up in a church. Um, I was a part of this worldwide choir, Atlanta Boys Choir. My mom had signed me up for that. So, you know, I kind of got a chance to, you know, travel around the world. You know, I went to Alaska, Russia. Oh, that's know, hard. Yeah, did, you know, did different concerts for different crowds, you know, and um, I want to say I, I actually got into doing my own thing with music. Like, I want to say like around like 2018, like around the time I graduated high school. And then 2019, that was really when I started like getting in the studio for real, like writing music. And that's when everything just really just started taking off for real. Gotcha. So. So with the traveling like to Russia and things like that, was that a, does that correlate with military school? Um, no. No? Mm -hmm. Okay. Gotcha. Now that's dope. Mm -hmm. If you can go on tour with any artist right now, who you going on tour with? Any artist right now? Mm -hmm. J. Cole. Cole. Okay. Why, why Cole? Um, I like his, um, 
I like his persona, his personality. Um, he's he seems like a real upfront, upfront dude, but also to really down to earth, real humble. Um, I like his music. He's a real dope artist. So yeah. Okay. Um, what's some of your favorite artists? Current. Uh, well, yeah, him of course, J Cole, uh, Lil Wayne, Eminem, um, Migos, Quavo. Specifically. <laughs> yeah. Shout out uh, Quay. <laughs> yeah, Offset too. Yeah. Yeah. Really, like I said, really the whole Migos to me. You know, rest in peace, take off. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's just like that's just a few. Okay. Okay. Did any of them influence your music or were you just fan? Oh, hold on. One more. One more left. I can't forget. Be yeah, a Lil Wayne for the most part. Uh, I have to say, if like him specifically, like Lil Wayne kind of influenced my flow of rap because growing up listening to him, um, I liked his I liked his style. And I also like like his flow of music, like it was real different, but also too like it was real, like you know, and just the way he was able to just rap and the way he was with words, it was just like you know, it was just art to me. So yeah. it just kind of like as I got into music, it just kind of just stuck me a little bit. Nah, I, uh, I agree, Weezy different. Like yeah. I put him number one on my top five. You know what I'm saying? Weezy just a whole whole different beast. Yeah, for show. For sure. so I'm, I'm definitely there with you, mm -hmm. for sure. So I got a brand new segment we about okay. to try out. It's called uh, personal preference. So I'm just gonna give you two options, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, and you just pick which one you prefer. Okay, simple enough. So first one: recording a song or performing a song? Performing a song. Performing a song. Okay. Staying independent or going major? Staying independent. Oh, really? Okay. But if the label come with the right deal, you open to it? We, we can run it through my lawyer. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Smart answer. <laughs> song on the radio or song going viral on social media? On the radio. On the radio. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Signing a Maybach music or cash money? Maybach music. Maybach music. Okay. Any specific reason? You just rock um, with Ross or? Um, I, don't, I don't know. Like cash money is, I don't too much really see myself in that crowd. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, mentorship from T.I. or Master P? T.I. Tip. Keeping it in Atlanta. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Pac or Biggie? Pop. Pop. Were you a fan of Biggie? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Miami or LA? LA. LA. Any reason? Um I got some I got well, I got family from LA. Okay. Um, and also too, uh, LA is actually on one of my lists where I want to go and visit. So, yeah. Okay. Dope, dope. Pull up in a Tesla Cybertruck or a Lambo? Lamb. Lamb. <laughs> that was an easy one. <laughs> Feature from Drake or Kendrick? Kendrick. Kendrick. Okay. L.A. Kendrick. I see it. <laughs> okay. Okay. On that same song, add a feature from Nicki or Cardi? Nicki. Okay. So we got D Money. Kendrick and Nikki. That's a hit. Yeah. For real. Free beat from ATL Jacob or Metro Boomin? Metro Boomin. Okay. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the way up. Okay. That ended that segment, but dope. Dope responses, man. How would you describe your, your music style? Um, real, raw. Um Everything I put in my music, I've seen, done, really been through. Uh, diverse, versatile. Um, I make, I try to aim to make music that that's for everybody. You know, everybody can relate to. You know, it's just, you know, it's it's some different. Yeah. Mm. Cool.
cool. How would you describe your your music journey so far? Um, ups, downs, but for the most part, just a lot of life lessons. Mm -hmm. um, let, learning new things, um, getting a chance and the opportunity to walk through open doors, uh, meet new people. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much so far. Yeah. Cool, cool. Where do you see yourself in the next year? Uh, well established in my music, um, but also to uh, build, like, building my foundation. Mm -hmm. When you look back, let's say a year, a year ago mm -hmm. to now, like what, what are some of your highlight moments over the last year? Um, highlight moments over the last year, uh, I have to say meeting Black Diamond. Um, I feel like ever since then, it's just been opportunity after opportunity. And I'm, you know, I've just been very thankful for that, you know. Oh, that's dope. Um, getting into doing shows. Um, being at, um, given the opportunity to perform at different, uh, my bad, uh, record at different studios. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Speaking of studios, which one was your favorite record at? Record at? I might have to say Patchwork. Patchwork. <laughs> Shout out to Patchwork Studios. Shout out to Oz, man, the whole team. What, um, what was your most recent release? And what do you have on the way? Um, my most recent release is uh, "Don't Get Caught." It's all on. It's on every platform, streaming. Um, my recent release. Um, I'm working on a mixtape actually, and and um, I'm almost done with it. But um, so yeah, be on the lookout for that. Okay. We recently had a Atlanta hip hop legend okay. on the podcast. He made a bold statement. Okay. He stated that hip hop was dead. Mm. What is your response to that? And how do you feel about the current state of hip hop? Um, I feel where his point of view is coming from. Um, I say, it's really how you look at it. Mm -hmm. Me as an artist myself, it really just shows me, um, since this is something I really want to do, I see a chance to to bring, I see a chance to bring something different in the game, you know, kind of change the perspective and, you know, just show everybody, you know, it's, it's still like, you know, it's still some some real raw potential talent out there, you know. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, um, I do notice the game is definitely it's different. Uh, for the most part, it seems like it's all about um, it's all about fan base status. Um, I kind of feel like nobody really pays attention to raw talent anymore. Yeah. Um, but yeah, for the most part, that's that's really why I'm going as hard as I'm going now, because, yeah, I'm not just I'm not just trying to make it sound good. I put my all in my music, whatever I'm doing, I'm going 100 percent. So, yeah. And I'm coming with the work ethic behind it, too. Hey, nah, that's a dope answer. For sure. Talk about your experience with Strength in Numbers. Um, amazing. Um, definitely, it was something different. Uh, I got a chance to be a part of a movement, meet different people, work with different artists, you know, experience different flows, different styles. But yeah, it was just, it was something really big. Did you have like a favorite moment um, when it came to the rollout? Because, you know, it started with the mixer, then the studio sessions, mm -hmm. and then uh photo shoot and you know the whole nine rehearsal i'm gonna have to say like my favorite was 
record like um actually recording yeah. like the studio um, being in the studio so yeah that was i have to say that's my favorite okay nah that's dope um you recently performed at a hot 107.9 event yes sir how was that experience um uh, real dope um different uh definitely the experience i needed you know um i got to perform in front of some pretty big faces so yeah it's definitely an opportunity i'm looking forward to dope dope what advice can you give to people who easily get discouraged um always have something to remind yourself why you started at the first in the first place you know never forget never forget what you never forget why you're doing what you're doing you know but yeah just just got to just stay true to it yeah. yeah oh that's cool man what do you want people to know about you um i'm a very genuine person uh i believe in i believe in teamwork i believe in um meeting people to grow and elevate with you know so for the most part whenever any like i said anybody who i'm really cool with you you know you come to me whatever you got going on i'm definitely gonna support a whole hundred percent you know for the most part so yeah that's definitely something about me. Um, I'm a real genuine, down to earth, humble person. I can attest to that. Yeah. Sure. Cool, cool. We about to wrap it up, but where can people find you? Um, you can find me on underscore D Money the Soldier. Um, but yeah, Vision Clear, Don't Get Caught, Strength in Numbers album. Oh man, I, you know, go stream it all, it's everywhere. You know what's going on, man. It's D Money the Soldier. Cool. We with Black Diamonds, my boy Bri. And we, you know, we out here, we making moves. For show for show. Do you have any shout outs or, or final thoughts before we wrap it up? Um, shout, out, shout out to my whole team, my manager. You know, shout out to Black Diamond. Yeah. Cool. Any final thoughts? Um, no, that's pretty much it. Vision, vision clear out right now. Yes, sir. It's out. Cool, cool. Well, we live, we lit. Let's get it, man. Moves in motion with Brian Luther King. D Money signing out. You. Yep. Let's go. Pockets on chicken.